want to see me go from this to this. Well, watch and see and get ready with me. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Yes! I always think about disco when I start my videos. Like, we need to get it up, pump, pump, pump it up. Bump, 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 bump. Oh my gosh, I have so much energy for being sick. Yes, yours truly is sick today. And I hate being sick. I hate it so much. Like, I feel like there's so much I could be doing. And But the nice thing is, um, is that I really enjoy doing makeup and transformations. So I'll be doing that today, obviously. You get to watch me transform into the stunning, gorgeous, apocalyptic. <laughs> Ava St. James DuPont. Yes, so uh, we'll be we'll be doing that, and uh, I'm really excited. Um, the last video that I uh, filmed, um, I absolutely loved, and you guys, I know it sounds maybe like pompous or whatever, but I swear to God, I looked like Bella Hadid. Like, yes, the, I was wearing this tight, thin, skinny dress, short dress, and uh, it just looked really good. And the makeup on me, the way I contour my nose and stuff, it was so on point for Bella Hadid. So I was like, yes, go team Bella, or whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, so hopefully today I can recreate some of that juju, that glamour again and uh, we'll have some fun. So, yes, so uh, the theme of today's video is um, just springtime, uh, plant life, all that good, good stuff. Um, it's spring now and I love spring. I love to see my plants just going crazy. You guys can't see all my plants in here, but I, I am surrounded by them. <laughs> They're really cute, so. Um, but anyway, um, I think that's gonna be enough for me. First things first, I am going to um, put my wig cap on and glue it down using uh, the, oh, I can't reach it there, <laughs> I can't be bothered. Hold on. Um, I'll be using the Got To Be Glued Blast Free Spray, Blasting Free Spray, um, to do that. And then, um, I also need to, um, uh, block my brows. Oh, I'm sick, so that hurt. <laughs> I did do a tongue pop. Oh, man. Um, so yeah, I will be doing tongue pops while I'm off camera so I can do it. <laughs> um, and it's gonna be fun, so. No, what I was going to say is actually um, I'm going to be uh, blocking my eyebrows, which means to cover them with uh, glue, and uh, it'll be fun. I'll, I'll come back with no eyebrows, no eyebrows, yeah, none, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys after this mini transformation. Alright, and I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> So, oh God, I'm still a little sick, so I do apologize, but I'll try to keep the sniffles to a minimum, okay? Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, I glued down my, um, my happy cat, my uh, wig cap. <laughs> After I said happy cat, I blanked. I was like, what is it called? Anyway, um, did that, and then I blocked the brows. They look very blocked. I am i can't hardly see them. Of course I'm not wearing my glasses, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so yeah, those look good. So uh, next up we need to put on some new brows. Yes! And um, let me make sure I have my... Oh, here it is. 
Yes. So I do have a new um, Angie Lay, Angie Hay um, stamp, and it came with a bunch of stencils, but I still like the one that I've been using. It looks nicest. So, um, oh, you know what? It's not in there. Let me see what, where it is. Where is it? It is right here. Right here, I say. Okay. <laughs> so I've got my stencil and obviously the stamp. So you guys know that I need to get the stamp ready. So, um... Pound it in, pound it in, little pound cake. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Little pound cake. Okay, so it looks pretty um, absorbed, the stuff does. So um, I'm just gonna pull this forward and um, I'm gonna give myself a nice brow. A little bit right side. Just on the right side though, right? <laughs> I want more of a natural brow today, so I'm gonna try to do that. Yeah, like that. Okay, I think that looks good. Yes! That looks very much what I wanted. Alright, so um, now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do it off camera. So um, I'll be back when I'm done. I'm back! And the brows are what? Snatched, honey. Yes. They snatched. They snatched. Yeah. So here's the deal, though. Um, I had to redo this brow right here, and it's still not perfect, but um, it wasn't arched very much, so it kind of like it just didn't look right next to the other one. But, no it do, no it do, I tell you. Um, <laughs> I like it. This brow looks amazing, but can't always have perfection, can we? Or can we? Hmm. No. <laughs> I know when something is just gonna be like okay and that sort of thing. So, okay. Um, now I need to um, go ahead and put some um, primer on my eyes. Um, I'll, I'll just do this on cam camera on this side and then um, we'll go from there. So this is the P. Louise Base Pro and uh, it's in the shades Rumor 0 0.5 and uh, I like to take a, um, a little flat brush like this, put a little bit on there. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then I just go like this, stamp it. Okay, wipe off the hands, hands, the hands. Uh, okay, and next we're gonna go ahead and set it. Set it and forget it, honey. That's what Nikki Tutorial says, set it and forget it. So, I'm gonna take my um, setting powder, which is the Airspun powder, this one right here. Like, whoa, what is that? Special powder, special. It does everything I want it to do more. Just like my man. Just like my man. <laughs> right. No, 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 no. Okay. So I take this little brush that I deemed my um, <laughs> my primer uh, powder, 
I dip it right into the airspun powder and then pack it in on the lid. Okay, let's do the other side. This thing is a little messy with the powder, but Voila! That looks good. I set the powder in my eye. Mmm. That kind of burns. And then I just take a small fluffy brush. Just blend this out. This is definitely the most messy part of my makeup routine. Um, it gets all over my stuff. All over. It's all over me too. Yeah. Okay, that looks fabulous, darlings. Fabulous. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. Okay, so next it's time for eyeshadow. Like I said. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull this forward here so I can see. Um, now, I am still using my, um, or if this is the first time you've seen it, I'm using my um, new brush set, which is like 30, 30 different brushes. Isn't that cool? I love it. It's really helped me a lot with my eyeshadow uh, application. So, we'll go with that today. And uh, for uh, green, oh yeah, we're going for green on the eyes because the dress is just this beautiful springtime green and I absolutely love it. It's so gorgeous. Hopefully I can pull this off because green sometimes isn't the easiest to use or to, to pull off. But first up, I'm going to be using the Michaela Pot 2 palette. Oh, it didn't shake very well. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I have used this pretty well on one color specifically. So um, I'm gonna start up there, and I'll try to be explanatory as possible. Uh, and then I will be using this um, Sour Patch Kids palette. Yeah, and um, there's one shade of green. There's also yellow, so we could use that as well. So, um, yeah, this is gonna be nice. It's gonna be really cute. So, why don't we start out with the Kiela palette? We're gonna go in with this medium green shade called Bro. She says Bro all the time. So, it's the one that I've used the most right there. Yeah. So, um, let's, let's do it. So I've got kind of a medium sized eyeshadow brush. These don't have numbers or anything, so no, I can only see, how, see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got the eyeshadow on the brush. And um, I'm gonna just go right in the crease. So there is that medium green. Now I want to dip into the um, shower patch kids green, which is kind of a you know a bright green. <laughs> so I'm going to dip right into that. Now to use the yellow. This looks pretty good. Um, 
I like the colors in there. It looks cute. Um, I hate how I have my blue hair, like it just throws everything off. <laughs> it's sad. Okay, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I want to do is put some shimmery green uh, right here above the yellow. And uh, I have looked at both uh, Michaela's palettes and um, I think for this shimmery shade, I'm gonna go with this. It's just got more shades of yellow, so it'll kind of blend better, I think. It's called um, Stunnin', and it's this color right here. It is on the bottom of my arm. It looks really nice. I've used this shade before. Um, it's really pretty. So, what I'm gonna do though, maybe I have a good brush for this. This flat, larger brush. That might work really well. So I'm gonna dip into this stunning color. And then we're just gonna go yeah, I think this looks really, really cool. I feel like there's something just off. Something's missing. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what color's missing. Anyway, we're going to go with the um, bottom lid. We're going to take a little um, short brush. little brush for the bottom and we're gonna go into that shade that we started with the shade uh, bro yes oh my god I think we we figured it out yes we did so there's lots of different colors going on here I mean greens yellows and the shades of yellow and green <laughs> um, I like it I like it a lot Hopefully this is going to work with the dress, with the hair, with everything else. Um, yeah, hopefully it works. Okay, so next up I'm going to go ahead and uh, recreate this over here. And uh, my hands are all green. <laughs> and then I'll be back. I'm back and the eyes are green. They are very green, aren't they? I hope they're not like too much. Like, <coughs> excuse me. Um, like, I hope this is not too much for the dress and for the rest of the look. Um, so we'll, we'll just go with it. You know, we're gonna put some mascara on. We're gonna put some lashes on. So that can always change the, the look a little bit. So anyway, okay, let's do our lashes. So uh, grab your eyelash curler, your torture device for your eyelashes. Go ahead and do whatever side you like first, and then put your lashes into it. Clamp down for about 10 seconds. And then pump. Pump them. It's gonna really like help curl it. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to get uh, our mascara on. I use the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Good stuff. And uh, here we go. If you're using this one, make sure the, the bump is up. Looking good. Alright. Now we'll move on to the other side. Yes. Okay, there we go. Mascara. 
Mascara! I wonder if I'm getting low on this. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now we're gonna make sure we have our lash glue. Wherever that's maybe. Uh, no, that's right here. Oh yeah, it's right here. Covered in that powder. <laughs> <laughs> like what else I can do? So I'm gonna just wipe it off. Look pretty. Uh -huh. Okay, so I've got some new lashes that are not s new to me, but one pair. Well, take that back. I've got one um, pair of, I mean, four pairs of one pair that are like this. I use these a lot. I use them in over and over again uh, because they are stunning. <laughs> They're huge! Oh my god! But these were also on the same uh, page on Amazon, and I thought, oh man, that looks amazing! Oh my god, this looks amazing. So I'm gonna use these today, and um, it doesn't look like I need to cut them. If you need to cut them, make sure you do it, otherwise it's going to give you kind of a droopy lash. So, um, someone pointed that out to me one time, and I was like, oh, you're right. I don't want to be droopy, droopy, droopy. Okay, where am I? I'm trying to get the lashes out of here. Okay, so I've got these. I've got the right side. Now I'm just gonna put some eyelash glue on the band. Pretty straightforward. Make sure you just coat them really well. These are gonna be nice and bushy. I love them. Love them so much. Bushy, bushy tail and bright eyed, or bright eyed and bushy tail. What does that mean? People say that a lot. I'm like, I don't know what it means. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some lash glue right on the lash line of my right eye. Ow. I just got it in my eye. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> okay, we need to let these sit for 30 seconds, but you know what? I like to get it done a little quicker than that, so I use my hair dryer. Make sure you put it on cool setting and then just, you know, let it, um, like, put it on the low setting too. Ah, there we go. You glue together. Now just take the inside. Just put it right on your lashes. Wow. Yes. That looks really good. Yes. Yeah, looks good. Love it. Okay, we're gonna do the other lash off, um, offline, <laughs> off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and both eyes are looking just popping. Yes, yes, daddy. 
Oh, they look not bad, Daddy. Do I get a treat, Daddy? <laughs> Uh, Eva, no, no. Go back to your cage. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so I love the eyes. I think they're gonna be just great for everything when we put it all together. I love it. So um, next up, we need to do the bottom portion of the face. We'll do some contouring, some highlighting, some lips. It's gonna be great. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, where's my otherness? The foundation is behind me. So we're gonna be using the Rare Beauty Weightless Foundation. Yes, my favorite go-to foundation. That looks pretty good. So now we're gonna move on to our uh, concealer. Also using the Rare Beauty concealer um, in um, con brightening concealer. There. <laughs> I don't use a lot anymore, but um, you use what you feel is necessary. See, I only use a couple little spots here. And then, I'll use my new concealer brush, if I can find it, right here. So I'm still getting used to this, but it works really well. Okay, maybe it doesn't work as well as I'd like. The brush is really small. That's the problem. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna use my other one. Under again. <laughs> All right, there we are, and uh, looks good. Looks really nice. Yeah. Okay. Next we're going to move on to uh, contour. Alright, so for um, contouring, I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. So good. I'm so happy I was able to finally get my hands on one of these in the shade that works for me. So this one is actually an amber suede, which, you know, is slightly on the darker end, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, we're gonna use this right now. And um, here we go. It's really super straightforward. Um, just take it. I need to start with my sideburns to do my cheekbones. Okay, so now we're going to blend it out with our contour brush. This unfortunately is not in my new uh, brush set. So. We'll 
go with what we have. And I like this brush a lot. Blends well. Still well. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty good, and I don't think I changed a thing. <laughs> okay, next we need to move on to our nose. Now this part gets a little bit tricky, right? Because it's it's got dimension to it. Um, hold on. Oh. <laughs> I was looking for my clicker thing. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is do mine off camera, but um, I'm gonna direct you to um, how to uh, contour your nose for drag. It's very simple, very easy to understand. It's very comprehensive. So um, go to my uh, page with all my videos and then uh, go there, come back, and uh, we'll have a little uh, kiki. Right, Kiki. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, I'm back, and the nose is what? Snatch, honey. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the nose came out really well, but it was really difficult. I have to admit that I was very um, sloppy in my application. And just well so anyway though it, it looks good now I have to say but it took a little while to get here so if you're there with me hallelujah yes <laughs> okay next we're gonna move on to blush I'm gonna go gather my blushes and then because uh, I want to have a really nice blush to go with this all right be right back all right so oh first of all you might have noticed I put on a little hoodie um, just because um, I've got an Amazon delivery coming and I didn't want my tits out like that. Yeah, I'm just trying to be polite. Just trying to be polite and you know, you can get far in this world. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, so they're going to be here any second. Like, literally, I don't know what's going on. They're right by my house, but they're not here, so. Um, you know you can track them now on Amazon, on the app. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, so for blush, I'm a little bit confused. So I've got these P. Louise blushes, which tend to be more on the peach side, and then the uh, Rare Beauty one that I like, I think that would look good for um, this look, is this pink shade, which is happy. Um, so, you know, both, all three are gonna look really good. I just, I don't know which one I want to use. That's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. And, um... Okay. There's the first one. This is... What is this one? Um... Apricot Smoothie. Which oddly enough, I never ordered. 
they sent me this one instead of the one I ordered and then they just never <laughs> talked to me again uh, when I was trying to get through their customer service. It's terrible. Terrible, Muriel. Um, and then here's the P. Louise um, the cheek of it, flirty color in the shade um, Gentle Ginger. Let me swatch this. They're very similar, to say. Um, I like the Gentle Ginger a little bit more. It's that one. And then I'll show you the Happy one, which is very pink. Looks like they're getting farther away from my house. They have all these dresses that I ordered, like five of them, so. So here we go, here's the, the bottom one is the happy color from Rare Beauty. Um, I don't know, I wish you guys could tell me what I should do. I'm kind of leaning towards gentle ginger, but is that the right color for me? I think the pink would be really nice. If we went light with the pink, I think it'd be good. Okay, let's do that. I'm not gonna. I hate that. I should just not look and then just wait for them to ring my doorbell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And take my blush brush. Blend her out. Let's see this in the mirror. I think that looks really good. It really does. Okay, let's see if we can match that on the other side. Let's see if we can match it. I may have to go urgently if uh, my package is here. I don't let them sit around and wait because they can get stolen. Okay. I like that. Definitely, it looks good. Yes! The pink really worked out. It really did. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Yes! Um, I do love those um, P. Louise colors. I just uh, I didn't think they were right for this look. Okay, so... Okay. Um, okay. So I'm thinking it looks good. We don't need to add any more. So uh, let's move on to highlighter. Okay, for highlighter, we're gonna start out with this beautiful 
um, Rare Beauty liquid highlighter. So just follow along with me. Of course, you know, it doesn't need to be Rare Beauty. It can be whatever you get your hands on. I love liquid highlighter. Now the tip of the nose, the very delicate spot. That's not... That's not gonna work. She better work. I'm gonna have to fix my nose after this. Let's just pause on the nose because uh, it's just not. Well, you know what? I might be able to fix this. Might. Okay. Like so. Okay, I need some of the angle brush. Okay, I gotta see if this is gonna look good, because if it's not, I'm gonna totally wig out. And not wig in, in a good way. I think this looks good. I think it looks great. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Just need to fix this right here. There we go. <laughs> Okay, let's blend this out with our finger. I wish I had like a green highlight. But like really soft, you know? That'd be really cool. For when I do green eyes like this. Which is like never. <laughs> Only do it because I've got this beautiful green dress. Tip of the nose looks good. Okay. Oh my god, this is still stuffed up. Now we're gonna use a new product. I've used this once, but um, it's still new to me. That's the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt in two shades: Girl Next Door and Chic Free. What are we gonna do today, honey? We're gonna use the bright one. 
which is Chic Freak. Yes. Well, let me let me swatch it. I used Chic Freak yesterday, but um, I don't know. It's hard to see how I think it. Up. I think the um. I think we're gonna go with Chic Freak. Hell yeah! So we're gonna take uh, a um, highlighter brush, like so. Dip it into Chic Freak. This is gonna be so cute. Yes. Okay. I'm going to use the back of the brush and go with the lighter color on the nose. Let's use the lighter color and just kind of like touch up everywhere on our face. <laughs> right here on the forehead. Look at that! Wow! It's pretty. Wow, okay. I'm adding the other color on top of the Chic Freak. Wowzas. Ah, I love this stuff. So good. I have another um, one that I've had for forever. Forever. So, um, this is good though. Okay. So now my phone's bleeping up, bleeping up, bleeping up. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. Um, next is lips, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab the stuff for lips, and uh, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, are you ready for some lip action? I don't have lips right now because they're not shining. on. <laughs> okay, so first things first, you want to grab your lip liner. Uh, I tend to use a more neutral shade. This one's mauve, which actually just matches the natural lips pretty well. So yeah, let's, let's do it. So I'm going to overline my lips. Oh, this is getting low. No! Oh, there it goes. Okay. I'm going to overline my upper lip. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Now, I consider this the blueprint for the lips and the face. And the body. <laughs> okay, that looks good. Now for lip, I want I got some new lip uh, products. So I've got some from Sephora collection at Sephora, obviously. I've got some from Amazon. Yes, wait, hold up. Before you like, uh, they're actually really, really nice. Some of them are glitter, and some of them are just a really nice lip gloss that shimmer. Holographic, 
So I'm thinking for the lip. Oops, where'd it go? I think we're gonna go with this one here. It's a nice pink shade. I am missing one. Where'd it go? Uh, oh well. Missing my hippie pink. Anyway, this one's nice too, so we'll go with that. Yes! Oh, those lips look good. They look nice, thick, and juicy. Uh -huh. So now we need to pick out a lip gloss. I don't usually wear lip gloss, so this will be interesting. Um, I've got quite a few here. Six. Six lip glosses. So, um, what do we want to use? I love this one right here. But is that too different from that? Ooh, that might be good. And then that's too light. I say we go with the darkest one. Yeah, I say we do. Okay, let's uh, try this. I haven't really tried the lip glosses. These are plumping also. Just so you know. Now, Tracy. All right, I'm back. <laughs> All right, the battery died on me, so I wasn't paying attention to catch it. But here we are. So, uh, lips are done. They look fabulous. Oh, it looks so good. Um, everything is done on the face. I couldn't be happier. It's very green, and when I say green, like it reminds me of a frog. It kind of does because um, the eyes, that shade, the lips are the shade of the frog's tongue. <laughs> so I, uh, but I like it. I like it a lot. So what I'm gonna do now is, oh, I need to do something before I forget, like I always do. Um, we need to do some setting spray. This is one size until dawn, and it's great. Love it.
Okay. There is that. And uh, now we're set to go get dressed, do all that stuff, and then I'll be back. Yes. Hey everyone, it's me, Ava St. James DuPont. Yes. Hi everyone. What do you think about the look? Isn't it just stunning? I love the green. The green is so wonderful. It reminds me of all my house plants and just how much work I have to put into them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But anyway, um, I am like obsessed. I'm obsessed with this look. And I'm trying to find my mirror, but my hair is in my face. So I can like, ah. Uh, yeah. So cute. The eyes came out really, really well. And um, the green and the uh, dress matches really nicely. Say anything more other than I really love it. So the way that I'm wearing today, her name is Lyrical. Um, she's from Nell's Wiz, of course, <laughs> and um, I absolutely love her. The thing is, is like all the different, all the different women were buying Lyrical, and um, I was like, oh. I'm gonna resist, you know, I'm gonna be the one that doesn't buy it. And in the end, I just saw it so much, I was like, it's mine, I'm buying it. Yep, mm-hmm, yeah. So I did, and I'm, I'm really pleased. It's got gorgeous layers, beautiful blonde hair, um, and the thing about her, I'll give you guys something. Um, she is either 26 or 27 inches, I can't remember. Um, and my normal wish for a wig is about 30. So there's a big price cut. Damn. <laughs> Not a price cut, but um, yeah, I just, I love it. I love it. It's perfect for every day. So if you guys are looking for an everyday kind of wig, it's got really beautiful, you know, layers and colors, the, the blonde and the darker blonde. It's gorgeous. So I highly recommend Lyrical um, when you want to get a new wig. Okay? So, uh, yeah, otherwise, the makeup's great. The uh, dress is so beautiful. It's like, so flowy and oh, I, just like it. I love it a lot. So what we're gonna do is go out into the other room right now, and uh, we're gonna take a dip in the pool, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, now we're gonna go out there so you can see the entire dress and everything in its glory. Okay. See you guys in a second. Hey guys, it's me Ava again. So uh, here we are out in my living room. I don't know the name of that in French, but I'm sure it's quite uh, beautiful. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I wanted to show you this dress in its entirety. But, like, real quick, look at the top part. Very flowy, very nice. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's push this back. Let's push it back. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn around. Here we go. Voila! <laughs> This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. All right, that's it. Hope you liked it. Now let's go back into the bedroom. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I 
hope you guys liked it as much as I did. I, I'm i just obsessed with this look and I'm obsessed with this wig. Oh my goodness, she's just gorgeous, lyrical. Who would have thought I'd buy her after it, like most people were buying her? I don't know, but <laughs> I do, I do love her. So, anyway, if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you uh, haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that notification bell down below. That will give you the uh, subscription option. Plus, you can um, get your how often? What is that called? Never mind, I don't remember. But hit that bell, and we'd love to have you here on our channel, following along. And uh, that's about it. So. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video today. It means a lot to me. It really does. So, alright everyone. That's going to be it for today. I love you all and I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you have a nice day and a pleasant day. <laughs> alright everyone. Oh, one thing I'm supposed to say, according to Bryce is stay beautiful <laughs> I know I'm supposed to say it stay beautiful my friends okay Mwah. love you and I will see you on the next one bye